Congratulations, guys. You've made it through section four. So this is our conclusion, working with arrays and lists. So I'm just going to go over everything that we've discussed and give you guys a brief overview. So again, let's dive right into it. So what did you guys learn in this section? Well, we've learned how to create arrays. And again, creating an array is just using some variable and you can assign it a list of different values that you can use. And it's extremely, extremely easy to set up by the skills that we used. So we've also learned how to access our arrays via the indices. So with this, after we set up our array and assign it values, we can individually select each array element and use that independent value within our Pro program. So again, we learned how to access the arrays via the indices or which I call subscripts. So creating the list. So we've learned how to create specific scalar variables and assign them to specific values, which is also called a list. A list of values is nothing more but a simple list that's being assigned to an array or independent variables. Performing assignment with list. Again, this is just specifying independent scalar variables and assigning them in order to specific values. Also, we learned how to convert arrays into beautiful strings, which we can print out using our beautiful print function as well. Using the for each loop on arrays in list. So now you guys have two different forms of using the loop construction. You guys learned how to use the while loop. And now in addition to that, you guys know how to use the for each loop on arrays in their list. And again, the for each loop is extremely important because it saves us a load of time from having to repeat ourselves with writing code and we can loop through our arrays and see what values are assigned to our arrays and list. Understanding and list context. So now you guys know the difference between scalar variables and list context or scalar context and list context. And you guys can use either or depending on what you want to use it for. Understanding the standard and operator and list context. So again, this just assigns a value to a scalar or a scalar or a list context. So congratulations again, guys. I'll see you guys in our next section.